think about a concept called completing the square. There's already a video that you guys can watch, but I'll make another one. That way we have the funny comments from you guys. That's why people watch. That's why I've got three views on these videos so far. Completing the square. Completing the square. You can watch it anytime. Watch it tonight <laughs> when you're <laughs> in, in bed. It'll be ready by bedtime. Thank you, Kelly, because that's what time I was going to turn it on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you guys to turn me on. <laughs> at eight o'clock p.m. in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing: we're going to run into situations where we don't have perfect squares, but we want to create perfect squares. You want to create things that look just like me. Perfect square. They can't see your face, Mr. Craig. They don't need to see my face. Side nose. <laughs> I want to create something here that will factor. There are a lot of numbers I can put here so this guy will factor. I can put the number 5. Wouldn't x squared plus 6x plus 5 factor? Maybe. It'd be plus x plus 5 and x plus 1, but that doesn't help me out. I want to create a polynomial that factors with the exact same two factors. And the way that I can do that is by putting in this number right here. Is a perfect square? Nine is a square, but he relates to six, right? Mm -hmm. What's the relationship? What number do they have in common? Three. So if I were to factor this, it would factor as x what? X plus three, and then x plus three again, right? Mm -hmm. If you remember that binomial square, we were squaring binomials from back in the day, you see that from here, I do get this guy. I square the x, I square the 3, and the 6x is my 2ab. If I did x times 3 is 3x, doubled would give me 6x, right? <coughs> so that's where it's coming from. So I, I got to figure out what this guy is. And the easy way to find this number, and there's a little song that goes along with that. Maybe we'll sing it later. I'll sing it if you teach me. If you take this middle coefficient and divide it by 2, and then square that result, you get that missing number. You get 9. The 9 goes here, and the number you had before you squared it goes here. See, 3 is what ties everybody together. 3 squared is 9, and 3 times 2 is 6. 3 is what connects those guys together. For example, if I, if I gave you this, if I said x squared minus 14x, what would I have to add here so that I create a perfect square over here? 21. Not 21. 49. 49. If I take this coefficient, negative 14, divide it by 2 and square it, I get negative 7 squared, which is? Which is 49. Do you all agree? So I get a 49 here, but what goes in the factored form? Seven. Seven. Is it minus just negative. 7? Negative. It's a minus 7, because you need that negative 7 to get the negative 14x, right? So how do we figure out what goes here? It's easy. You divide this guy by 2, and then what? You square, square it. You square it, right? So we do what? Divide by 2. Divide by two and square it. What? Divide by 2 and square it. What? Divide by 2 and square it. What? Divide by 2 and square it. Divide. I was singing. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. It usually does better when we go back and forth, like left side, right side. So we go divide by 2 and you guys shut up and square it. Come on. It's <laughs> great. It's, it's, it's not that the microphone is not picking them up. <laughs> There's nothing to pick up. I would have done it. But you didn't. <laughs> but you <laughs> wasn't on my yeah. side yet, so there you go. Don't. Th don't, don't give me the there I go. <laughs> and here we go. What? Here we go. You had to divide by two and square it. What? So I got myself a negative five. Tell me the answer so you stay alive. Divide by two and square it. What? <laughs> Don't look like you can bear it. Just divide by two and square it. But Doug, he just can't hear it. <laughs> divide by two and square it. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. 
Retarded. Divide by two and square it. I'm still sorry. I prefer a certain level of anonymity. Now, don't convert to des uh, don't don't convert to decimals. Keep it as a fraction. Trust me on this. So five over two doesn't reduce. So leave it this way and square it. What do you get? I know we're going to say twenty-five over four, right? Don't 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 go there. So that's 25 over 4. What goes in the factor form over here, though? 5 over 2. A minus 5 over 2. It's half of this guy, right, mm -hmm. goes over here. When I square that, I get this. What's half of negative 14? Seven. Negative 7. What happens when I square negative 7? 49. What's half of 6? 3. When I square that, I get what? Nine. Are y'all with me on that? Uh, y'all understand how I'm squaring it and getting that number? I'm seeing why you kept, I'm seeing how you did it and came up with the fraction, but mm -hmm. then you reduced it. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. We didn't reduce any. Five over two five. doesn't reduce. No. When I square that, I get 25 over four. And the piece that goes in here is what you had just before you squared it. Like here, just before I square to get 49, I had negative 7, and that goes in there. Before I square to get 9, I had 3, and that goes in there. Oh, okay. Let's try another one. x squared plus 3 fourths x plus what is going to give me a binomial square? Now, we said divide by 2 and square it, right? Mm -hmm. Sing it. Nah, <laughs> I'm, no one wants to sing with me, and I just end up insulting people. <laughs> so instead of dividing by 2, there's an easier way, especially when I start off with something that's a fraction. You don't really want to divide a fraction by 2. What's another way to say divide by 2? Okay. Which is what? Another way of dividing by 2 is taking half of something, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So that means multiplying times 1 half. So if I were to take the 3 fourths here, multiply times 1 half, and then square it, I'm going to get my special number. Okay? So what's 3 fourths times 1 half? It's just fractions. No need to be scared. What is it? 3 over 8. It's 3 over 8 squared, and that gives me what? Oh, I'm sorry. Right, 9 over 64. So 9 over 64 is what goes here, but what goes inside the factor form? 3 over 8. Plus or minus? Plus. Plus 3 over 8. It's plus 3 over 8 because that's what I had right here. Mm -hmm. And that's how we go about completing the square, filling in that, that missing piece for all these guys. And that leads us into solving by completing the square. Coming up after the break. <laughs>